Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Nathan, this is Road Masters. So, I'm super excited today because we got that Procynic M7 Pro. What's so great about it? Well, look, it has a sidekick, the self-emptying bin. You guys asked for it. You guys wanted a Roblox that had a self-emptying bin? Well, this is close enough. This is the Procynic M7 Pro, and it has a couple tricks up its sleeve. It's a mopping robot, also has 2600 pascals of suction, which beats out the Roblox. Also has that 5200 milliamp hour battery, which provides about 150 minutes, which is about two and a half hours. All right, let's just go ahead and rip this guy open. Actually, let's show you guys the box here. Nothing too special about the box. If you remember my Roblox unboxing, it's very similar. Let's give you guys a close. Yep, very simple box. All right, let's go ahead and get this guy open. It says push. I'm pushing. Nothing's happening. What's going on? Let's try this again. Uh, maybe I just yank out this tape here. Uh, it's like Christmas all over again. Open up this little tab here. You guys ready for it? One, two, three. Wow, this is amazing. Look at that, guys. It's really cool. You got some packaging. You have a booklet. So, guys, make sure you read that. And you got mopping pads. A foamy thing. I'm really cool, I got like a foamy hat. And we got, here's the washing mopping pad unit. Very interesting design. Looks like this is a gravity fed system. It's not electronically controlled. And let's check out the mopping pads here. Wow, they gave you a lot, let's see. One, two, three, nine. Looks like we got 10 of these guys. Draining mopping pads. Okay, let's see what's in this guy. Looks like we have our AC adapter. Very unique. And you can just plug it in. I wonder if we could plug this in directly to the robot. Well, it's overseas. 100 to 240 volts. So, good job. Let's see what's next. Got a little charging unit. Very cool. Pretty simple design, and it looks like we can put the cable this way or this way. Unfortunately, you cannot wrap the cable around. It looks like it comes with two AAA batteries. Yes, this guy has a handheld remote, so you can control it via either your smartphone or a handheld remote. This guy opens here. So here's a quick look at the remote. Up top here is our home button. We also have a directional control pad, so you can steer the robot like an RC car. We have our play pause button. Down here is our spot clean button. We also have a uh, kind of a sweeping thing. I believe this is for the mopping pad. We also have a do not disturb. And down here controls the various power levels or vacuum levels of the robot. And down here, I don't know what that is. I will have to come back to that. So, very nice remote. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so these little things are actually our droplets for our gravity fed bopping system. This is very similar to the Roblox S6. So, don't lose these parts. And it gives us an extra filter, so good job Procynic for giving us a secondary filter. Okay, here's the robot itself. Very nice looking robot. I do like the fact it has dual side brushes. Okay, my favorite part. Wow, that's amazing. So up top here is our LiDAR sensor. We also have a basic uh, power button up top, which also pauses the robot, and our home button. Right here, this is our infrared sensor, so it helps slow the robot down when it detects an object. Also, we got that physical bump sensor. On the right side of the robot, we have a nice wall sensor. I really like the fact that they have a wall sensor, so it helps with the side brush to get along the edges. And these white things, is just for shipping, help prevent the bumper from Moving around during shipment. 
those guys out of the way. Okay, so it looks like we uh, open up from the rear here. So here's our dust bit. This is 600 milliliters, and here's our filter system. Very nice. Looks like it just pops out there. Take a look inside there. So, giant dust bin. Let's go ahead and snap the dust bin in. Okay, so here's a quick look at the robot. We have our dual side brushes. Looks like we got four clip sensors, and we got kind of adjustable wheels. This is commonly found on most uh, vacuums. Also, we have our extractor bar, which is your combo style, has bristles and both silicone. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, get this guy opened up because this guy has a self emptying bin, and it's what makes this guy very unique. Here's a look here pretty plain box, nothing too fancy. Okay, you guys ready? Nice little instruction manual, it kind of tells you about the self emptying bin. So they definitely did a good job packaging. Okay, let's see if I can get this thing out of here without breaking it. Yep, this is definitely not how you unwrap a box. Alright, here we go. So, kind of looks like a trash can. Hello, how are you doing? Okay, that's bad. And it has a disposable bag. And it looks like we got two extra disposable bags here. Looks like the robot charges from the rear. Show you that. It's kind of dots like that. And you're good to go. Give you guys a quick look at the bin here. Nice little rubber feet down below. And if we look at the top. We got a disposable bag. Quick look inside. You see this thing down here? This is actually kind of like a filter system. Helps prevent debris from coming apart. See that? It's just kind of like a wired mesh. Go ahead and uh, put this bag back in. Should just slide right back in. You're good to go. So this entire system is 500 bucks. The robot sold separately from the self-emptying bin. The robot itself is $460 on Amazon, but use my link below and you can get 60 bucks off. Also it comes with two extra side brushes. You get the AAA batteries for the remote, very nice feature. Also has that gravity fed mopping system. It's kind of held on by Velcro here. And you see the two little water droplets, very similar to the Roblox S6 mopping system. You also have an extra filter. And this robot comes with a uh, regular charging base, which is nice. You also have the option to get the self-emptying bin, which is $99. Comes with three disposable bags. All right, let's go ahead and get this robot charged up, and we'll see how well it cleans. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to get the app going for this robot. I think all I have to do is just kind of slide the robot on the docking station. And see if the power button lights up. Okay, so you can see that, it's gonna... Wow, that was really cool. That was an interesting little... Welcome to your robot vacuum cleaner. Hmm. Okay, can I talk now? Alright, so if you notice, there's a little indicator. It's kind of lining up in blue. Very nice. And now, I should be able to uh, install the app. So let's just go ahead and uh, go to my Google Play Store. I'm using a Android. This is a Note 9. But you can also use iPhone as well. Okay, let's see. Where's my Google Play Store here? And let's go ahead and uh, just type in Procynic, the brand. Alright, so here's the Procynic Home app. And we'll go ahead and uh, get it installed. Once, okay. once this is installed, we'll go ahead and uh, create an account. And we should be able to uh, pair the robot up to the smartphone and to my home network. So both the robot and the device have to be on the same 2.4 gigahertz network for the initial pairing process. But once you have everything set up, you should be able to use cellular as well. Okay, so it looks like it's installing here. Let's go ahead and uh, get this guy opened. 
All right, we'll go ahead and allow it. Yes, allow to take pictures, media, all that fun stuff. Let's create an account. Oh, register successful. Show, sure, save my password here. We'll add a device. Let's see how hard it is to pair up their ProSynic M7 Pro. All right, looks like we have to just search the robot, which is down there in the bottom right corner. So the first thing we're gonna do is check to make sure the robot's on. I've already turned the robot on, but you just hold down that power button for three seconds. So I did that already. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is hold down the power button and the home button for three seconds simultaneously. Alright, so we went ahead and did that. We'll go to the next step. Now we'll just go ahead and put in my um, Wi Fi network. Should be able to connect. And now it's going to have me connect directly to the robot. There we go. Procynix 6545. Just takes a few seconds to pair the phone directly to the robot. So what this is doing is creating a Wi-Fi hotspot from the robot, and this is where your phone is connected and directly communicating. Alright, so what it's going to do is just communicate, do all the pairing process, and it may have a software update. Wi-Fi connected. Alright, so the robot's all paired up, fairly quick and easy, and we'll go ahead and uh, see how well the robot cleans. The clean pattern is very similar to the robot where it does a perimeter sweep and then fills that in with a back and forth clean pattern. Let's have a close look at how well the robot does with the cable. Uh, sometimes there's some straight cables along so the robot needs to have the ability to untangle itself. So this robot has a lot of promising features, it has the handheld remote at 2600 Pascal of suction, also has decent battery life at 150 minutes on its low power section, it also has that mopping pad which is gravity fed, so I'm eager to try that out. So stay tuned for my next video because I'll be doing a head to head challenge with the S5 Max and the ProSynic M7 Pro. Now if we look at the competition at the time of filming, this is one of the cheapest robot vacuums currently with the self-emptying bin at 500 bucks. Now keep in mind that the Shark IQ is currently 549 and the Roomba i7 Plus with the self-emptying bin is $800. Alright, so it looks like the robot's almost done and it's going to go ahead and return to empty itself and to recharge. Okay, I'm going to show you how much the M7 picked up. Also, there's a very unique feature, the way it empties itself and recharge. So stay tuned for that. Hold on one minute. So if you like this type of video, please smash the like button, helps me gauge if this video is popular. Also, if you're new to my channel, welcome, my name's Nathan. I do a lot of head-to-head -head challenges. I do unboxings, reviews of new robot vacuums and cleaning products. So stay tuned for the S5 Max versus the Pro M7. So here's the unique self-emptying bin and recharge feature. Notice that the robot looks like it's going to recharge and empty itself from the front, but it actually rotates 180 degrees and discharges itself. And then once it's done, it actually rotates back 180 degrees to recharge itself. Very unique. Okay, you may want to turn down the volume because the self-emptying bin is quite loud.
Okay, we'll see how well the self-emptied bin emptied out the contents of the dustbin. Now this dustbin is quite large at 600 milliliters, but you may notice that there's still some chips and debris in there. I suspect this is because the bin was kind of empty and there wasn't a lot of space to kind of draw up the material. But I'll do some additional testing, see if it does better with different types of material. For this test, I just use crunched up chips. So it does look like the robot did a good job picking up the majority of the chips. Did leave a couple on the ground, but again, I'll just do some tests on hardwood floor. I'll do some tiles. I'll probably do a sand challenge as well. So make sure you stay tuned for my next video because I'll probably do like a head-to-head -head challenge with the S5 Max and the M7 Pro. We'll see how well these two robot vacuums go head to head. Now this directly competes with like the Shark IQ, the Roblox S5 Max, maybe the Roomba i7. So we'll see which is the best robot vacuum for you. Alright, see you later.